You want to know the next storm that's coming? Hell yeah. Is, this is the Robert story. Sala at the Jets, okay? Hold on, hold on, Lombard. Let me let me frame it this way then, because I was going to ask about them next after what you said about Tua. So Tua last year gets multiple concussions, affects the entire team. When Tua's on the field, they're incredible. When he's not on the field, they're not that great. It seems like they've tried to put an effort into that offensive line in how we protect them. McDaniel went to work, setting up leverage. Let's go ahead and keep Tua protected. On the yeah. flip side, all anybody has chatted about since Aaron Rodgers has got to the New York Jets was like the offensive line stinks. That's pretty much what Hard Knocks was. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty much what all Hard Knocks was. And then yep. it became the entire conversation. They need to trade for Bakhtiari, they were saying at yeah. one point. Is that team still doomed by that entire thing? Is Zach Wilson... A, what is the deal yeah. with the New York Jets? And are they just punting this year, you think, until they get Aaron back next year? No, I, I don't think they want to punt because I think if this keeps going down the road, there'll be changes. So, But you make a great point here, okay? What McDaniels did was he knows that he needs to keep Tua healthy. He knows he needs to keep the pocket clean. And so by running, the, he averaged 22 runs last year a, seat, a game. This year he's up to 31, and that outside zone keeps the pocket tight. So here's where I'm going with this. So if they're going to they're gonna play Trevor Simeon, because we've all seen enough that Zach Wilson isn't good enough oh, to play. Oh, when? I don't when, care Lombo? Uh, they're going to have to put Simeon in the game. When? The, the, when the, soon, the, you're saying? Like this week? I would, I would say I take the second quarter. You know, wow. I was, th that shift could happen because we'd be too busy looking at Taylor Swift that we missed the shift in quarterback, <laughs> yeah. but that might happen, right? That could happen. But let's just say it does. Let's say it doesn't happen this week. It happens next week. You're never going back to Zach Wilson again, Pat. You're never going back. Once he removes Zach Wilson from the starting lineup, that's the end of his career as a Jet. I'm just telling you because as a team, and Chuck can verify this, there's no way – once you bench him, you could put him back in. Because then the team's just going to say, we're lost. We're done. It's over. It happened last year. Yeah. Remember, it happened yeah. last year with Flacco and Strafolsky. Mike White. So Mike White. They made shirts. It, the teammates made shirts. Well, Mike White shirts they were wearing in front of this guy's face. I mean, it's it's wild, this whole Zach Wilson. Once art. you make that move, and here's where it comes to your point, that offensive line, if they go to Simeon, he's going to have to really be tough and strong to not get hurt. Because he's going to get hit. Don't matter. And so my point was, it's <laughs> one thing to sign Trevor Simeon, right? You better sign two of them because when if Simeon, who's not a big man, he's not a big man. If he gets hit and gets hurt, you can't go back to Wilson. So you're now, you're who are you going to play, Boyle? Oh, you going to put him in there? Could you imagine trotting Simeon out there? Okay, the New York Jets fans, by the way, they're going nuts. Yeah, you got Fireman Ed. Literally, <laughs> give me my hat. Yeah. Oh! As soon as Simeon's going out there, they are all excited, just like they were last year. Yeah. yeah. When Mike White goes out there, the place goes crazy. Zach Wilson goes out there, they're actually booing. Whenever Strafolsky, Strevler, CFL legend goes on the field, they didn't even know this guy existed. They, The fans had no clue that this guy was on their team. It's a primetime game. He is now their quarterback. As soon as they hear somebody's in a quarterback that wasn't Zach Wilson, okay, Let's go. we love this guy. Imagine Simeon Wait. going out there and then just like three plays, two plays, <laughs> we, and then Zach having uh, – We already won. Still finishing the Jets yeah. chant for the other guy and Zach. So we're back. Do it again. <laughs> what a scene. That, that already happened to Simeon on Monday night as a Jet, I think. Well, I think. we hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. We hope everybody yeah, remains safe. But that is like I, I don't want I'm not hoping anybody gets hurt. I'm just reality. as a general manager, you gotta prepare for that because there's no way you're going back to Zach. So like that conversation in, in at Florham Park is look. Once you make this move, Robert, you understand that there's no going back to the kid. We're just going to basically put him out over here in the pasture, put him over here as Al Davis would call Elba, because Elba is where they sent Napoleon after yep. the after he lost. He, he would threaten to send you to Elba all the time. Well, I'm going to send you to Elba, young man, and he would put you over here. That's where he, Zach Wilson's going to go once he takes him out, because he's never coming back to play for the Jets. Jeez. So you better have two. You better have two players that you can play. Joe Namath would be pumped, I think. Oh, yeah. And Robert Sala came out and had to answer for not only what Aaron said on this particular program, but also what Joe Namath said on the Michael K show. So anytime you're answering about statements that are being yeah. made, yeah. it is not good. He said his door is always open for Joe. And I think Joe, after, if this move was to be made, and once again, maybe this is the week that Zach, you know, Lights prime time against the Chiefs. 
Taylor Swift's in the building. Exactly. Oh, yeah. His mom's going to be super pumped probably yeah. there yeah. as He's well. Nervous. I think Aaron's going to be there maybe rolling around on okay. his little Achilles no thing. Chance. For, no, no chance. No chance. No, no. Thank but five you. years from now, where there's going to be a documentary on Netflix about how Zach Wilson – it's going to be like the Johnny Manziel one. He really wasn't interested. Like, he doesn't come across as wanting to play, Pat. You can't make it up. The players on the sideline, they see it. What we're seeing in New York is an absence of leadership because everybody sees it except the head coaches defending them. And that hurts the head coach's credibility. Yeah. Don't don't misjudge this now. It's that tough. head coach stands in front of the team and says, I support Zach Wilson, but I'm holding you accountable for blocking. Well, you're not holding him accountable for making good calls? It's a contradiction, and as a leader, you can't have that. Yeah, it's you, tough. you got to be honest. Yeah, but he also has to get – I mean, like, he also has to have his guys – I mean, that is – Brutal. Coach Sala had no idea, I think, what oh. he was signing up for yeah. whenever he said no. – You remember how much fun he was having as defense coordinator for San Francisco 49ers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That play sheet, they actually had to attach it like it was a jet ski thing uh -huh. because he used to get so jacked yeah. up that that thing would be flying around. Now he's like – yeah, Broadway Joe, I heard, yeah. yep, heard what he said. Rex Ryan, yep, heard what he said. Aaron, our quarter, yep, yeah. heard what he I said, yeah. I love our quarterback. I think he's really good. And in the back of his head, he's like, did anybody watch Hard Knocks whenever I literally said, I never had a quarterback anywhere near as good as Aaron Rodgers. Like, he, he put down Zach in that statement. But now he has to kind of put up the front to all the boys that he supports them. Tough scenes, tough scenes. Everything was supposed to be Aaron. <laughs> oh, yeah. Know? It was literally the entire storyline, and then that ends after the mm. fourth play, unfortunately. What a story for Jets fans to continue the tale that they've been cursed by the football gods forever.